Greetings and hallucinations, ladies and lads. I am Chancellor of the Harmonious Frequencies of the Mighty Empire of Onion, and this is Pit People. So if you missed the last episode, uh, be sure to check it out. We're here um, with Sid the Necromancer, finding out if this vampire is staring at us. We're not at full health, uh, which is a little worrisome since this is a force goal difficulty. Um, let's see how it goes. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> he says. I agree. I I fully agree with Joseph. It's cool. a lot of zombies. A couple of vampires. A lot of zombies. And some archers. Okay, how are we gonna do this? I'd like to try to kill the zombies last because, uh, yeah, they like to come back from the dead. So I think if we work on the vampires here, that will get us started. route. I think that'll do. I think they are pretty susceptible to fire, and so Yosef should be doing some good damage here. I just gotta try not to get surrounded by the zombies before we're able to do anything effective. Uh, he's trying to surround his vampire with zombies so that we are less effective. I'm trying to kill them. That's fine. say we try a little bit of chain lightning here with Watson. We'll just scoot back by one and that should be fine. Keep him there. Keep the stroll maybe over here. And actually I would like to have Horatio closer up. So let's see if we can put Horatio over where Watson is going. like this, so that the archers are shooting at him. Oh, wow. Chain lightning didn't chain like I like for it too. Okay. Oh, he's been slowed by the zombies here. There we go. That's what I was looking for as far as defenses though. Probably a good idea. The ratio's okay where he's at. He also could do with moving a bit. Let's try and take this guy out as much as we can. Oh, he didn't get flung over because I moved the gnome. So that's something I wasn't sure about last round, but clearly that is the way that it works. Not terrible. Not the worst thing I've ever seen. Uh, did we kill that? I feel like we must have killed that one vampire then already. So that's good. Uh, let's see if we can get around these guys. 
All these guys have helmets on, so that's not good for him. Yeah, you can take this guy on. Move you there. Except Estrella, you would do good in the middle here. And you can go there. If I was able to get just one away, I could really smoke these fools. Let's just go for the... That guy, though. Alright. Oh no! King Dulcor hit Yosef by mistake there. We did stun the vampire. Okay. I'm trying to look at this as reasonably as possible. Plop over here, we could totally start working on these guys and making them run away. So I think that's what we're gonna do. We've got this guy stunned. All of them have helmets on though. Uh, I think moving around by one is probably gonna be the key. Maybe even come over here and target these guys for a chain attack. That might be a good idea. Yosef can stay where he is, or come down here so that he's sure to target Lieutenant Splurt. Um, and this guy can stay where he's at. So a little bit of healing. Nice. That was a level up for Watson. He was very good. Okay, let's see. Yeah, they didn't like it that Pippa Strolla moved in there, so that's fantastic. It looks like their helmets aren't enough to give her bonus damage, which is a bit of a shame. But we'll keep uh, running into them as much as we can. Horatio's in kind of a weird spot. Very dangerous, that's for sure. Let's see. Yeah, let's see what happens if we can pop up here. I'm taking, I'm taking my time, clearly, but uh, I'm trying not to get. Nice I'm smoke. Goodbye. Let's give this a shot. Nice. Ooh. A little bit of friendly fire there, but we almost got this guy dead. There's two zombies here that are almost completely close. Joseph's actually in a good spot still. Uh, doing damage to both of these guys will end up wiping them out. And that being said, I think coming over here to damage him is going to be good with Watson. Having the gnomes in here probably isn't necessary anymore. Let's try to get them out of there if we can. That's probably good. Nice. Oh, yes. oh. One of the King Blue Force. This guy got stunned, so that's good. Uh, we'll leave him there to just continue to do some damage. And we'll come up here to do some heals. Uh, Yosef. It's not a bad spot for you to be, but let's scoot back one and keep working on this guy. Let's see, he needs some damage done to him like that. So we'll try. Okay, so 
try to keep on this guy. Uh, we can move down here with Yosef to hold this grave. They're doing pretty decent here. Pipistrella. Actually, Pipistrella can move up here to hit either one of these guys, and he'll still move. Um, then let's keep on healing this guy. So good with the double kills. A lot of friendly fire, but we just have to put up with that for right now. That's probably good. We might be able to kill him this round. Some of these are going to spawn back though. Let's try to scare him back this way. Um, and try to control as many of these as we can. If he spawns back, it's not going to be the end of the world. If this guy spawns back, same story. Should have a new round. Cool. Yeah, we didn't even have to worry about enemies respawning that round. Oh, more treasure, another uh, present. So that was pretty magical. We're still apparently on uh, Sid the Necromancer, so let's go ahead and do a revive for Ding Ding Cooldor, Ding Dulcor, and then a healing camp for everybody. And I guess we're gonna have to go through down below here. Sneak in. Oh. Okay. We've discovered a new area. Is there money down here? Oh, there is. Check out this money. Thank you. Uh, we still have three treasure slots, and we're almost full health. The ratio is a little bit low. Looks like... Oh, there's... Man, I never even noticed these experience bars um, down below. I'm pretty sure that's what the purple is. So Sophia's close to a level up. Horatio has a pretty long ways to go. Uh, Watson is getting there. Very cool. <laughs> I like his I like his mask there. They do, they do say that, for sure. Mr. Cholala, and I spain say la kofala mode. Ah. Okay. Yeah, wraiths don't like to stay within melee range. So it's not going to be easy to try to take him out with them all around. There's quite a few with helmets on, uh, but there's a few that don't have helmets, so... We're just going to have to do our best here. Big 
Rogers. Yeah, these guys are a little bit slow, but we're just gonna have to deal with it. I think trying to flank around the side here is gonna be our best bet. Oh, he's coming straight for us. I was not expecting that by any means. Alright. Pipistrella. Come up here. Goes, up, goes there. That's probably gonna be a spot for him. That's gonna be the way to go. And we've got him frozen in place, too. <laughs> okay, I think we're in pretty good position right now. I might move Watson over here so that we can get another chain lightning off. And if I do that, I want the uh, gnomes to get over here as well. Oh, they can fly on top of that. I forget. Uh, hopefully, Yosef goes for the necromancer and doesn't worry about this guy. Let's see, though. He is able to move, so I'll bet he's moving back here now. Yep. I think that's gonna have to work. Even though... Yeah, even though he's not very good against this guy, um, he's the only one that's going to be able to keep up with him. Let's see how that goes. Yeah, Pipistrella did the good thing. Double kill, yes! Excellent. And we did some damage to him. I'll bet he's moving back here though now. Get a chain lightning option. Um, wow. She can do a lot more damage over here, that's for sure. We put Horatio in here though, he's still pretty badly surrounded. Joseph. He can move up by one, that'll be good. And it looks like we can do a heal from both of these positions on Watson. Nice. I wouldn't mind getting Watson out of there, like back towards this direction. Um, you could do a chain lightning from here on these guys. And then... can move up, Pipistrella can move down, Sophia can move up, so they're gonna do a little jig. He's fine where he's at, and they will be able to heal from where they're at, so that's good. As long as the chain lightning carries on in the correct direction, I think it went up here actually. <laughs> Three things that are good about being alive. Huh. It's a difficult one. See? <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, Ratio's gonna be better against this lion. We've got a bonus against this guy. Sophia. Okay. 
not really any good place for Yosef to go. We might be able to wall up both of these guys, though. And then the gnomes are actually in a pretty good spot. I might move him back one, just because. He's going after Sophia with those debuffs, which is fine with me. Yeah, let's try to get rid of the lion guy. And then Pipistrola can straight up wall with this guy. Same here. The gnomes are fine where they're at. Uh, Yosef can actually get in the middle there, which is good. And yeah, Watson can go there. These guys can skinny around the sides. Now oh, Sophia got hit with the lightning this is not ideal. But we did get the double kill. Alright. Uh can we kill off all of these fools? and try to capture him? I'm not sure. Just got two more zombies, three more zombies that we have to kill. How does. Oh, that's Pipistrella. I thought it was a ratio I had selected there. Yosef. You can only target this guy from back here. You can target everybody from right there, so that's good. Probably fine. Okay. Uh, oh, this guy does have a helmet on, so let's go with Pipistrella. Yep. Sophia, I'll run over to here just in case we take this guy out this round. Let's go here, here. This might be a good spot for Kim right there. So, uh, Pipistrilla is coming in. Oh, let's move in between so he can do uh, either one here. Nice. Sophia did not get to move in for the snare, though. Recruited. Yes, we got Sid the Necromancer on our team now. Magical. So magical. Three stars, of course. Sid the Necromancer, some treasures. Oh man, I love capturing bosses. It's so good. So satisfying. Cool. Please tell me you're stunned you are. Alright, let's put it down. Check out our goodies. We got Sid the Necromancer. Woohoo! The Alaskan, which is a uh, mace. 
neon hair looks like for the pony uh, the rainbow horse a red wrench mace we have two of those now obsidian slicer the thief mask I didn't realize we had two of those but that's pretty cool uh, shwug hat we have some of those and bonus golds magnificent so our next stop is the sun sword Sid the necromancer that's what he gets for recycling bodies that's for sure Well, that's going to be it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let's go check out Sid the Necromancer. He's got to be down towards the bottom. Yep. So now we got to put Chin Face down there with him. Of course, Chin Face is still an orange name, and Sid the Necromancer is not. He's level 12. He's level 31. Uh, but I do like the Plague Doctor style mask that Sid the Necromancer has. So I'm super happy um, that we were able to capture him. So, very cool. Uh, if you want to catch the next episode, feel free to subscribe. Consider supporting if you would. And be sure to check out any of my other videos or playlists that you might be interested in. I thank you very much for all the time you spend on my channel. And I hope blessings of wisdom and peace on all of you. Farewell.